Each year, schools from around the north enter the Tai Tokoro Tall Ships Challenge, a competition sponsored by Top Energy and North Power. The theme is safety at sea, and the top six school entries win a fully sponsored place in this competition, which is a voyage on the northland coast between Opua and Whangarei on board Northland's tall ship, the R. Tucker Thompson. Students from Huanui College provided two submissions to the Safety at Sea competition. Samantha Macbeth and Emma Wickham's entry was well received by the judges and assured them a place on the challenge. We entered the trip by making a sailboat out of cardboard and on the front sail we put a poem of Safety at Sea and then around the hull we did pictures of safety things that you need at sea. One of the tasks of sponsorship is looking over the safety at sea entries and North Power CEO Mark Gatland and Steve McMillan take great pride in looking over this year's spectacular entries. North Power in conjunction with Top Energy is a major sponsor of the R. Tucker Thompson Sailing Challenge. The theme is safety at sea. Could have been naive to go to sea without being prepared. This boat from uh, Huanui College, um, yeah, what a fantastic you know, message board. The, the visualness of this model, um, the message around it and the message on the, on the sail, you know, is extremely well put and yet it's all on a, on a ship which, you know, I just look at it and I think, wow, exciting, I'd actually love to be on that, I'd love to be on the water. These folk are uh, starting to get towards the end of their schooling career and uh, they need to be able to uh, have the self-confidence to go out and get themselves jobs and that sort of thing. We'd be hopeful that the young folk that come onto this uh, journey will uh, obviously learn about safety at sea which is one of the main uh, focuses of the trip. There's a, a degree of them maturing and, and learning to work with one another. This just fits into our concept of being uh, engaged with the community, being community owned, it's important that we uh, have that contact. We have a number of other things that, where we focus on young people as well. So uh, this fits very nicely with the sort of uh, engagement that we want to have. I hope to get out of this trip experience, overcome fears of things, learn new skills and of course adventure. actually was an idea that we borrowed from the spirit of New Zealand and we thought well what a cool idea we'll do something similar but we'll do it for Taitokara. It's split into teams of two so we have six schools and two youngsters from each school take part. You go you first. <laughs> um, learn about the sea. Um, I think I'll learn lots of new sailing skills because I don't really know much about sailing. Working together and stuff. Yeah. With um, people we don't really know? Haven't met them yet. <laughs> um, I don't know, more confidence really and just like heaps team, of new experiences. Yeah. Team building I guess yeah. and working with people we don't really know. But I'll struggle with waking up early. That'll be hard. <laughs> I'll be alright without my cell phone but I'm going to miss my shower. I like showers. Easy. Easy. No one takes me anyway. <laughs> One of the biggest challenges is that they go out with a bunch of people they don't know and the feedback on the, on the forms, one of the things they're most scared of is going away from home for seven days with a bunch of, of, of people they've never met before. And I think just that 
sheer challenge of meeting new people and having to get on with them, that, that's really big. Having to actually do a whole bunch of stuff that they're scared of. What I like about the job, I like to sail. And that's probably, probably basically it, you know, I like sailing. Bay of Islands is pretty fortunate that we have got lots of areas to um, go around, lots of things to see and do, and there's lots of harbours all, all the way down, down, down the coast right to Whangarei that we can go into too. Probably the biggest skill for a lot of them is um, learning to live without their uh, cell phones, living together in a, in a short space, and probably the biggest thing that they get out of it is friendships. So these sails won't get up by, you can't do it up just by one person, it needs more people to um, lift it up. So I learned teamwork. We had one guy who was, um, he was only about this tall, and he was into everything. He put sails up, you know, run around, and all of a sudden you see him running around and doing, doing stuff, and all of a sudden he'd go, and he'd go up to the side of the boat and spew, and he'd turn around and give you a big smile like this, and he'd go and pull sails up again and just, just do that. And he did it about three or four times, he just spewed, just stopped him for about two seconds, and he just went on again. That was pretty cool. We've got a quite a dynamic crew. Everybody's um, had various amounts of experience before and some are just learning from the start. It's a fantastic vessel for breaking new ground with uh, training and extending your experiences, whether it's your first time or you've been at sea for a long time. On this voyage, there were the dynamic crew of four. Steve Mackay, Kylie Fawcett, Nick Minchin and Jana Hahn. These four combine their skills training the students in all aspects of ship life. From daily maintenance, how to pull up the sails, how to row, navigate, as well as motivating and encouraging the youth to enjoy this great experience. Steve's hilarious and Kylie, she's real nice. And Yana's mean cook. I love everything but the cooking. <laughs> and Nick looks like Russell Brand. We do it quite a varied role um, between you know in the galley we all share the ga galley cooking and then also lessons uh, with the children um, and just showing them how to sail navigation uh, we generally do do it all she each pretty much every single kid on board is really wants to be here and and has an interest in the ocean and in sailing uh, navigation they're all just really into it and they show that with the enthusiasm. I think with most groups and, and including this group they're always to begin with you know a little shy a little bit holding back a bit and by the second third day they're really everyone's become friends and they know each other and they really loosen up and they just start having a lot of fun and then um, you see that through the week and then by the end of the week they're just crazy and um, they just, yeah, they sort of slowly gain momentum and I think if we're going any longer than seven days we might have, a, it might get a bit chaotic.
Over the seven days, students are tasked with competing against each other in a series of physical and mental challenges. These are designed to test their seamanship, resolve, physicality and competency. The Challenge Week is a really good week for everybody because there's a lot of kids out there that do this sort of thing. But the, the quite competitive teams, Otamatea, Breen Bay and Kaitaia, oh and Huanui is definitely the little uh, black sheep and the whole lot. It's going good. Um, Breen Bay uh, are currently in the lead. They sort of thrive on the physical challenges. Keen to win, keen to get the points. The challenges I've enjoyed was probably the rowing around the boat in um, the little dinghy. Even though I don't know how to row, we're going in circles for a bit. Slow and steady in the ways. Go too fast and might drop it all. <laughs> Thinking outside the box. Yeah, things like that and you've got probably coming close behind them is, um, is Otamatea and Hurunui. Hurunui more thrive on the sort of the mental aspect of, of the challenges. They've been really fun and we did really well naming the ropes around the ship. Quickest team to raise the sails, bread making competition, rowing around the ship, they have to jump in every morning at seven and have a race, scrubbing the deck, dishes, <laughs> oh yep, navigation, weather, markers, all that kind of stuff. Social skills is a big one, but discipline, what else? What have you guys learnt? Winning's not always a factor. <laughs> the baggy wrinkles challenge we won. <laughs> I've learned how to drive the boat. Rowing around the boat and putting up the masts, making, what is it, baggy wrinkles? Yeah. The blindfold race. Um, seen some really good teamwork amongst everybody. My personal favourite is the fact that everyone just loves to get totally stuck in and do everything that they can possibly do to make this an amazing trip. Well we're not doing that great but um, we're having lots of fun so it doesn't really matter that much. It's all about the fun as well. And just, yeah, the experience. So. Pretty good. enjoyed just getting around with people mainly the meals and just sitting around the dinner table and just the talks and like chats we have it's pretty funny yeah seeing everybody happy when they do their challenges and being happy when I do ours or when we do mine I'm enjoying all the activities just trying to make the most of everything it's loads of fun um all the things I've learned whoa Thai knots and all the different names of the sails and the ropes and stuff like that. Just been cruising around the bays, going places, sailing, challenges, getting along with everyone. Oh, we've gone to Hole in the Rock, gone diving at Poor Nights, where we are now. Stopped at Whangamumu Bay, gone heaps of places. Can't remember all of them. All the teams are cool, pretty kicked back, cool to hang out with. It's like in general sitting up the front when we're going really fast, it's really cool. Probably communication skills <laughs> and teamwork skills. And
the winner is Hernoy. The mental challenges. We weren't so good on the physical ones against the boys, but you know. Our brains were better than the boys. <laughs> good. <laughs> It's really been a, good. It's been a great week and now we've come out with a really good result. So yeah. it's pretty good. All the bays we went to, they were cool. Going around everywhere and seeing everything by sea. And then the challenges. Yeah. yeah the different types of challenges were, were pretty good. Yeah. And the dolphins we saw. We saw a pot of like eight dolphins. Such a good experience to do. And you learn so much and have so much fun throughout the week and yeah it's so great. They were they were great fun, yeah. Yeah. And it, it was we were, became quite good friends by the end of the week and we got along really well. So. Yeah. It'll be sad to leave them and not see them for quite a while. But Yeah, even though we've only known them for seven days, it feels like we've known them forever. <laughs> By the end of this epic adventure, there were four teams in the running, but first time entrants from Huanui College took out the trophy. Samantha and Emma's application entry was judged the best, and they determinedly put up a good fight throughout the whole voyage. you do something that you didn't think you could do and you conquer that fear, you get a really strong sense of achievement from that. And when they go away for seven days on this ship, they're challenging themselves every day. It doesn't matter whether it's climbing the rigging, it doesn't matter whether it's going into the water for a swim every morning, it doesn't matter whether it's, you know, um, steering the ship, learning how to navigate, whatever it is, there's a challenge in just about everything. It's life changing and it's Probably one of the best experiences of my life so far. I'll definitely do it again, any day. <laughs>